Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to learn about Docker. So with this video, we will take care of two things. The first thing is why we need the Docker. What is the background of Docker? And the second thing is we will learn about what is meant by Docker. So let us try to understand why we need Docker first. As we go for any software development, it is a combination of different different components. So it is a front end, back end, database and the server. Now when we are working on the Agile technology, we need to work on the different different sprint. So after the sprint, we need to deploy the code into our different different environment. So we have a different different environment like development environment, testing environment, then we have our product environment and last we have our production environment. Once the sprint one is completed, we need to deploy the same code in our development environment. Then if it is getting passed, we need to deploy it into the seat environment, then further on pad and last it will go for the production environment. But when you are working as a developer, we have seen a lot of issue into the operational activities. So, you know, if the work, if the code is working in my environment, it will not work into the seat environment and it will not work into the production environment sometimes. So what is the problem? It is a problem with the configuration of the server and there are dependencies which will make a lot of problem when we are installing this software on different different platform. In order to remove that problem and a developer can be work only on the development part to make the development very faster, they have introduced the concept we called it as a Docker. Docker is a leading software which will help you to deploy the code into the different different environment. So if you have tested the code in your machine, definitely that code will be work on other machine. There will not be any issue with the help of Docker itself. So when we are talking about the Docker, again the concept we call it as a container. In order to understand the concept of container, we will take the example of real time. Let's say I want to move from one location to another location and I want to pack all my goods. So what I will do, I will ask for the container. I will pack all the goods and I will put it into that container. The same thing happens in the container itself. In this case, Docker is the one which will take that container and it will deploy it on the different different platform. So because of that only you will not see any kind of the issue on different different environment. Now let's focus on what is the importance of Docker container. So what we will do, we will wrap our code, all the dependency and the server configuration in one container and we will deploy it on different different environment. Second importance of the Docker container is a developer can only concentrate on the development work. He don't need to worry about the operational work just like deployment and all the stuff for which you know the developer were taking lot of time and they were doing the troubleshooting while they deploying the code on different different environment. So that problem has been removed completely and we can just concentrate on the development track. The third important of the Docker container is a deployment is really, really easy. The problem which were arising previously, the code is working in my machine, but it is not working in seat environment or the pad environment or the prod environment that has been removed completely. So this is the important of Docker. If you like this video, please do like, subscribe and share this channel. If you have any queries, please put it into the comment section. Definitely we'll be creating the video based upon this. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you again with the next video.